Um, but now it's my great pleasure to invite one of my PhD students up onto the, um, onto the podium, uh, Thinza Mayant. And she's going to tell us some, some about the science behind seed mixture formulation. Thinza. Hello, uh, good morning. Uh, like Alistair introduced, I'm Dinza. I'm from Myanmar. Currently, I'm a PhD student from Lincoln University. Lincoln University. Um, now, I'm going to present a part of my research finding uh, with the title of Optimal Pasture Mixes Dependent on Nitrogen Fertility. So, the, the objectives of our experiment were to find the best seed mix that can maximize dry matai with greater forage quality, and also to study whether the best seed mix dependent on nitrogen fertility. So our experiment included 10 different seed mixtures that were comprised of perennial rank grass, white clover, and plantain. So these 10 seed mixtures were repeated at two levels of nitrogen fertilizer, 0 and 220. So it was an irrigator experiment, and it was grazed by sheep eight times a year. We measured dry matai over four years. So um, these, these control plots showed the effect of the proportion of species in the mixture and the effect of nitrogen fertilizer on annual dry matai. So uh, we can see we have, we have three monocultures, uh, rank grass only, plantain only, white clover only, and also we have three binary mixture and four different three species mixture. So the total is 10 and repeated at two levels of nitrogen fertilizer. So in control plots, the lighter green color represents the lower dry matter E and the darker green color represents the higher dry matter E. So without nitrogen fertilizer, perennial rank grass produced 16.810 of dry matter E and plantain gave 16.610 and white clover dry matter production was 14.910. So without nitrogen fertilization, the maximum dry matai was given by perennial rank grass and white clover binary mixture and rank grass and plantain binary mixture. But the interaction between rank grass and white clover was stronger than the interaction between rank grass and plantain because you, we can see the wider surface with gray, uh, darker green area on this side. So without nitrogen fertilization, the optimum mixture that can maximize dry matter E was 50-50 perennial rank grass and white clover binary mixture. It can produce 20.610 of dry matter production with less than 3% of which 11 megajo ME and 22% of crude protein. So this optimum mixture produces 4.810 more dry matter E than the average dry matter E of uh, rank grass and white clover monoculture because of species interactions between rank grass and white clover. For example, um, nitrogen fixation by white clover and rank grass use that nitrogen. So, and when nitrogen fertilizer was added, perennial rank grass and plantain production was increased by 2.3 each. But white clover production was not affected by nitrogen fertilizer application. So. With nitrogen fertilization, the optimum mixture that can maximize dry matter E was the three species mixture, to be exact, 40% of perennial rank grass, 30 white clover, and 30 plantain, producing 23 ton dry matter with no wheat, with 11 magajo ME, and 20% 20, 20 of crude protein. So this optimum mixture produced 5.2 ton more dry matter E than the average dry matter E of three monocultures. So as take home messages, we can tell the optimal seed mixture that can maximize dry matter E uh, dependent on nitrogen fertility. So according to our experimental results, without nitrogen fertilization, the optimal mixture was 50-50 rank grass and white clover binary mixture. That percentage was based on seed count. So in terms of soil rate, for example, we can use three kilograms of white clover um, to be added into 10 kilograms of perennial rank grass. But if we would like to use the white 
coated white clover seeds, we need to use more than three kilograms. Uh, with nitrogen fertilization, 2.2 kilograms of white clover and six kilograms of plantain can be added into 10 kilograms of perennial rangra seed to get the optimal proportion. Yeah, that's all my presentation. Thank you so much. Perfect timing. Thank you, Thinza.